Uh, based on your the talk with us, saying there should be increased spending and there should be transparency, how does China then look to, uh, with an open economy, look at its human rights and also transparency, not only for the economy, but if there's e-commerce, then there must be transparency and openness across the internet. Well, actually, uh, we are improving the, the transparency in China in every aspect. As you know, uh, in the past, the uh, disaster information is disclosed very small. But in the in our uh, earthquake uh, disaster, we disclosed uh, at the first time very very quickly, and also as well as other cases. But on the human rights, I think we have uh, some differences with the uh, Western countries. We thought the human rights the first is the right of existence and the right of development. Without this, you, you cannot talk about the right, human rights, not like the uh, developed countries. We have to feed 1.4 billion people to let them have enough food, have enough uh, income. I think that may be the most important thing. Certainly, we have dialogue with uh, human rights, with uh, the Americans, with the Europeans, but certainly there are differences in this case. <coughs> but uh, in my opinion, anyway, we are going to increase transparency in every aspect. Talk about the internet. We, if you go to our internet, you can see there are many critics criticize uh, words to our government. Uh, I think if you can read Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so that means people have the uh, right to criticize the, the government. You know our uh, Weibo that is almost uh, <coughs> like the <coughs> I think like the winters in the in the Western world. Now we have uh, around 300 million users. So you can, uh, I think that's the largest use, usage of Twitter. But it's equivalent to some kind of Twitter. So yes, we are growing. We are pro improving. You cannot use the standard of the Western country to evaluate the China situation because we are developing. I, I, I read a book by uh, uh, someone that Mr. Zhang knows called Wu mm -hmm. on the Chinese uh, economy in the last uh, 40 years. And the thing that we, that strike right, strikes me is the enormous social uh, uh, you know, cost and the, 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 the social upheaval the changes that the society has gone through and the leadership has been able to maintain it in a cohesive way. And I think that these are the things we have to recognize when we talk about when we try to judge that society by the standards of society of our own who have enjoyed generations of I noticed in your presentation the desire of raising people's purchasing power is a must. Yet earlier in your presentation, you were what we would say very chuffed about the amount of savings that your people have as against the Americans. Uh -huh. Is it one going to feed on the other? Yes. Actually, Yes, this is your question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like... Yeah. You have, and I congratulate the country, mm -hmm. have done brilliantly well at expenditure. Mm -hmm. When your people start to spend, which they are spending, we're seeing it all over the world. Mm -hmm. 
I beg. Don't you think there's going to be a time when those two lines get closer? And what do you plan to do then? Okay. Uh, yes. Actually, on the one hand, we are encouraging people to spend more. That's to reach it, to reach this. What we did is to reduce the saving rate, right? And they increase the people's income. So when you get the pie larger, you can they can spend more, right? And uh, uh, actually, I propose the three institutional arrangements for this. One is to synchronize people's income with the economic growth rate. We almost uh, reached this. Uh, last year, our uh, people's income increased uh, 9.2 and 8.4, mm -hmm. respectively, in the urban area and the rural area. And our economic growth is 9.2. But right, this is close. Second is to link the salary with the CPI. That means people's real income will be increased. And at this time being, uh, almost all provinces link the minimum salary, minimum wages to the CPI. And third is to increase people's income, uh, to increase workers' income along with the rates of productivity. <coughs> but besides, as I mentioned, we will reduce the people's uh, in personal tax. Actually, we raised the bar, of the, 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 the bar, the, the floor of the personal tax from 800 uh, RMB to 1600 to 2000 and now it's to 3500. This is one thing. Second is we need, that means we need to let people can consume, able to consume. Right? And second, we need to uh, improve our social security, social security system to let people dare to consume, so that people have less hesitation to consume. And last but not the least is we need to provide more new products that people will to consume. So I said China needs more jobs, more safe jobs, like Apple, so they can provide more and more new products that people to consume. So in this case, we can encourage people to consume more. And uh, for the international trade, we would like to make the trade more balanced. That means we will import more foreign products to our people to consume. This is also very important. So I said we have no intention to pursue a very high growth rate, GDP growth rate, and also we have no intention to pursue a high uh, foreign trade surplus because you know the three trading US dollar foreign reserve is a double bladed sword. You know, on the one hand, certainly it will strengthen our economic stress, but on the other hand, we will bear the risk of uh, the, the fluctuation of foreign exchange rates. Right. We have tended to see historically some major banks come out of that country. Can you speak a little bit on what's happening in the Chinese financial sector and whether we're going to see any Chinese banks play a major role in the world stage? Oh, uh, so actually, uh, according to our uh, engagement to WTO, we are <coughs> opening our financial market to the uh, foreign countries. So now there are many foreign banks uh, uh, have their branches in China, and also uh, some foreign banks have their shares in our state-owned. Uh, banks like uh, certainly now they are withdraw their money because they want to uh, uh, they, they are withdraw their investment because they need to deleverage but actually they still have some uh, parts of their shares you know they own the banks on the one hand 
On the other hand, we are encouraging our uh, banks to go abroad. So uh, I think uh, lately, just recently, in uh, in Brazil, in uh, uh, Trinidad Tobacco, our banks is going to uh, expand their business. I I I doubt if we have the Chinese banks in here. No, not yet. I think sooner or later they will come here.